hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in today video i am going to run through how to build and install a docker image for 7750 nokia sros using vsr qcov image let's start okay first we need to have some uh, basic build so that we can build our own docker image for 7750 sr uh, if you are installing it in your laptop, as mentioned in my previous videos, you need to install the Xbox Manager or Workstation Player. Then you need to install the latest Ubuntu uh, image. And on top of it, you need to install the Docker container. And next, you need to install the container lab package from the GitHub. So once all the prerequisites are done, then you need to download the uh, 7750vsr.qcov image from the Nokia official website. Then you need to obtain license from the Nokia. Once all this done, then we can go for the next step. If you have any doubts in installing the Docker and container lab, you can refer my previous videos. I will give the video link in the description as well. Okay. Let's start. I have already installed the Ubuntu. Let's verify it. Yes. So I'm going to show you docker images yes i have already in my previous video i demonstrated sr linux and ceos so that those two images are available so what next to do once you download you need to put the image on the ubuntu just once you download it we extract the file and then copy the vsr.qcov image to your ubuntu using filezilla or WinSAP. I have already uploaded to my server. You can see this is the image you need to upload to your Ubuntu server. Once it is uploaded, then next step is we need to clone the PRNet lab. And this is the command to clone it. And I will provide this command in the description section. You can simply copy paste. Yes, it is cloned. Let's see. Yes, I have the VRNet lab. Basically, this VRNet lab is needed and they have the predefined script to build the Docker image for uh, different network vendors like Cisco, Juniper, and Nokia. So I'm going to, I'm going inside Nokia SROS folder. So what we have to do just first I'll explain you this steps okay in the readme they have clearly given so once you download this particular image from the Nokia website you can you have to change the name from SROS-VM or SROS-VSR dot out to to this particular format so that it will get processed when we are building the pages okay and next step these are the different variant control plane and line card options available to use it for testing and these are the ram and these are the maximum nick that you can use and we have sr1 sr1 e sr14 and we can even simulate ixr e and ixr r6 routers as well so i'm going to use 20.10 r1 so let's get started I'm going to copy the image. I'm going to use cp command to copy the image. Slash on slash docker. Slash tool. So I'm going to use the same format as mentioned here because I'm already using the same image. Download this image. Yeah, you don't till this step you don't need any license. License is needed only when you, once you build the image and st start spinning up the lab using the SRO, then you need the license. So let me verify. Yes, now I have the image. Now we can simply run this command. Make command. I'm going to use this make. 
yeah it will take five minutes approximately so let's wait for a few minutes uh, our docker image is ready let's verify yes as you can see we have built the new docker image for sros next step is to spin the router so i'm going to use two routers and bind it together using the port 111 as you can see this is a license file so this is my sros yaml file you can give any file name ending with yaml so let me open this yaml file okay as you can see i have two uh, sros routers i'm going to run virtual router using the docker image sr1 and that should be sr1 and we are hyphen sros and this is the image which we have built it and this is the uh, interface port 111 and port 111 we are going to connect between both the routers and you can see here one more point the license so you have to give the name of the license file correctly you can give any name uh, here for the license and the license and the yaml file should be kept in the same folder it should not be kept in the different path and if you are mentioning it then you have to mention the complete path here so use the same command like we used in the last slnx and cos sudo container lab deploy then sros yes it's getting created as you can see this is the name i can log in using this name or i can log in using the ip address ipv4 or ipv6 so let me log in using ipv4 ip address and before that i need to check the health status so you guys have to probably wait for 2 to 3 uh, approximately 3 minutes to bring the docker image up so you can verify the logs also just give docker logs then you the container id here so you can see what are the processes going on it will explain you and in case if you found any issues and you can see from using this command and you can start troubleshooting that so currently it is loading so once it is loaded and up and fine then here it will show as a healthy if there is some issue with respect to your ram or the cpu then it it will display as unhealthy then you will be able to ping but you will not be able to log in because it it has only unhealthy then your docker uh, container email, container right so it will start re getting rebooting actually so that you can verify using this command docker logs then the container id okay i need to wait for 3 minutes because it just a minute let me see what is the current status okay in case if you want to see the what is the topology that i am running there is a command container can you help command it will display all the possible options so i am going to you inspect consider that you forgot the ip address but you want to know like what is the ip address that what to use for this topology for the login just give inspect python hyphen to go then the yaml file name so it will give you the name and the ip address details you don't have to remember these are copy paste just you have to use the inspect command to inspect this topology 
let me verify the meanwhile okay it has become unhealthy let me see uh, three minutes let's wait for a few more seconds or we need to do the troubleshooting yeah you can see after three minutes it has become healthy now so that means that that docker image is up and working fine so let's quickly log in The, the default username and password is same admin admin okay. you can see show version show card show mda okay show ports yes so i did configure okay the default configuration i pushed okay then the let me log out Docker PS. Let me log in again to another router, next router. So which is 20.2. Yes. Sometimes as you can see, right, once you build an, and you do some lab exercise, the IP will be mapped to your SSH key that will be stored. And when you log in again, rebuild. And if it gets us into the older IP, then your ssh key will mismatch then you will have this error it's simple you can go to this path and then you can if you press dd then it will delete everything then you can again log in it will ask what will then yes then save the key yes so, yeah, so. so it will be ping show router app you can see that's it guys for today videos and i hope you all enjoyed and you know now how to build the docker image for sr7750 sr os from the scratch you can use 7750 or 7250 uh, ixr small or ixr r6 so you can build your own image and start playing with in your lab to practice the uh, nokia lab okay uh, thank you very much for watching please subscribe thanks for watching